Welcome back once again. In our previous tutorial, we designed our dashboard fragment and designed our floating action button. In this part, we need to create a animation resource directory. So select animation directory and select anim, and we need to call it anim, and create a new animation resource file. And this animation is for our floating action button. So we can call it fat open. And now inside this fit open XML, we need to add fill after true. And now we need to add a scale and add from Android from X scale. First add duration. We can select 500 millisecond and add from X scale 0, 0.0 and from Y scale 0, 0.0 and now we need to add 2X scale to Y scale 1.0 and 2X scale 1.0 so from so, so under arius folder we need to create a anim directory and inside the anim directory we need to add animation resource file and then we need to add this line of code and this is for our animation now we add pivot x 50 percent and pivot y 50 percent you can change it later i just want to show how can we do this animation so now we need to add android inter So now we need to add Android interpolar, interpolator, and this is going to be linear interpolator. And we need to select Android, and we need to select animation. First, we need to add a directory anim, and after that, forward slash, and we need to add linear interpolator. Now we need to add alpha and this is from android first at duration and this duration is going to be we can call 500 and from alpha 0, 0.0 to alpha 1.0 you can you can custom it later whatever you want to add in your animation And copy this interpolator we just need to change and in here we need to send at interpolator and linear instead of linear interpolator we need to add accelerate interpolator now we need another animation resource file so go to open a new animation resource file and we can call it fat close and select this directory and okay and now inside this set header inside this set header we can call fill after true and add a scale and five hold y first we need to add from at first at duration so android duration 500 millisecond and add from x from s scale x scale 1.0 to now we need to add two y scale 1.0 and to x scale 0, 0.0 and to y scale 0, 0.0 and we need to add pivot x and pivot y so pivot y 50 percent so pivot y 50 percent and pivot x 50 percent now we need to add android interpolator android 
इंटर पोलिटर इजिकल टू एंड्रयड क्लोन एनिम फरवर्ड क्लास उ नीड टू एड लिनियर इंटरपोलेटर एंड नाउ उ नीड टू एड आलफा टू आलफा फार्स्ट एड ड्यूरेशन इज इक्ल टू फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एड फ्रम आलफा वन पॉइंट जिरो टू आलफा वन पॉइंट जिरो टू आलफा जिरो पॉइंट जिरो एट एंड्रयड इंटरपोलेटर एंड्रयड एनिम लिनियर इंटरपोलेटर so any linear interpolator so we added two animation file and we added some scale and alpha so make sure that you edit this line of code and we will, we will need this when we will when we want to animation our floating action button so now we need to change it view and add my view is equal to and and now, and now return this view and now we need to add floating button so private floating action button is going to be fef main and private floating action button fef income and we need one more floating action button private floating action button fef expense button now we need to add floating button text so private private text view is going to be fef income text private text view this one is going to be fef expense text and now we need to connect this with our layout so connect floating button to layout fav so first select fav main button is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot fav main plus button fef income button is equal to find view by id r dot id dot income ft button fef expense button is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot expense ft button
Now we need to add connect floating text. Fav income text is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot Fav we need to choose text what was the id name so open this dashboard fragment and the id name was expense ft text so it should be income expense text so income ft text and add fav expense text F expense not this one fav expense expense text my view dot find view by id r dot id dot expense ft text Now fab main button dot set on click listener. New one click listener. Now we need to add a boolean. So we need to select private. Boolean is going to be is open is equal to false. We, we will use it when we will add our animation condition. So now F Fab main button dot set on click listener. Now we need to add the if condition if is open. That means if our floating button is open, then we need to add some animation thing. So we need to select Fab income button dot select a star animation. And we did not add any object of our animation class, so we need to create an object of our animation class. And now we can select, we can call private animation. We need to, so we can call it fat open and fat colors and fat close now we need to add our animation and we need to connect this animation so fed open is equal to animation animation utils dot load animation and we need to add our animation directory so get activity and now we need to add r dot anim there is our directory and dot fed open and now we need to add fed close is equal to animation utils dot load animation get activity and r dot anim dot fat close so now we can insert this fab in the inside this fab main button we need to add fab income button dot start animation fat close and for fab expense button dot start animation fed close that means if is open is going to be false then we would like to close our animation so now fav income button dot set visibility set on clickable 
false then that means we don't want to click and fav expense button dot set clickable false and now we need to add fav income text dot start animation fat close we need same thing for all those things fat close and fat expense button expense text dot start animation is going to be fat close and for fav income test dot set clickable false I set clickable okay so set clickable is going to be false and fav expense text dot set clickable false and now is open is equal to false now we need to add another else condition if this if this is happen then we will show this fat close animation else we will show fat open animation now we need to add a else condition here so else so fat income button dot start animation is going to be fat open and for fat expense button start animation fat open And for fav income button dot set clickable true and at fav action but <coughs> expense button dot set clickable true and for same thing fav income text dot start animation fat open And for fav expense text dot start animation is going to be fat open and now fav income text dot set clickable true and for fav income text dot set clickable true and now easy open is going to be true so we added all this condition for our animation when we will click our main floating action button so when we will click this main action main action button main floating action button then we will open our we will open our rest of two floating action button and if we click again then we will close our two floating action button so that is the main purpose of adding this condition and adding this animation so make sure that you added this line of code and those are for our animation now we need to run our application so run our application and now click this floating action button now we can see our two floating action button one is income and one is expense now if we click again then we can see our floating action gone and click again then we can see our floating action button so this is working just because we added this animation line of code 